What food should you never order on a first date? One sordid spaghetti with squid ink on a date. I looked like Marilyn Manson. OMG I'm dying. He said Marilyn not Charles. I went on a date with a girl to Little Lakeside Bar that was no for their pizza. We asked what the waiter suggested, and they said this Cajun style pizza with chicken, pepperoni, shrimp, peppers, etc. Was really good, so we agreed to order it. After like the first 3 bites my date said she wasn't feeling good, and puked on the floor. I paid quick and brought her to the car. She noticed that her whole body had broken out with hives, and she was feeling really sick. I brought her to the ER where she told me that she's allergic to shellfish, but she hadn't had it in a while and figured she'd be fine. Spent the rest of the night taking care of her and eating leftover pizza while she apologized. Not eating something you're allergic to seems like a good idea in general, not just first dates. Spaghetti with red sauce, unless you're wearing a red top. There's a reason movie mafioso are wearing bibs at dinner. After all the criminal stuff they get up to, last thing they want is to be embarrassed by a spaghetti stain. Your date's food. Seriously, guys, it's not suave, or formal etiquette. It is insulting, and makes you look controlling. Even if the menu is in French, or you just know your date would love the scampi, let them order what they want. Well, the best Peking duck near me takes 3 days minimum. She probably ain't waiting that long. Even if I bring the tent. It's good duck, guys. Worth the wait. Now I'm craving Chinese food. Avoid messy food in general and anything that is difficult to eat such as soups, ramen, etc unless you have a clear understanding that they are diehard fans. Difficult to eat. Soup. Ramen. Eat whatever the f you want on a first date. Just be nice to servers. Something you can't afford. Have to stay and do dishes. Go to a cheese and wine tasting. You'll fart your way out of a possible relationship. Get fish, veggies lighter stuff. Fish breath on a first date seems like a poor call. Chipotle never sits right. And yet I keep going back. Beans. I've had to fart really bad during a date before. We ate nachos with beans. I told her I left something in my car, got in my car, closed the door and let out a 5 second monster fart while pretending to look around the car for something. If you're hoping to get kissed, ask ahead if your date has any dietary restrictions. If they are allergic to peanuts, don't get something with nuts. If they are allergic to shellfish, don't order lobster. Really you should avoid seafood altogether. Also, avoid anything with large amounts of garlic or onions. Whatever you don't like to eat. Just eat what you like. Anything you can't eat with a knife and fork. Well done steak. I will judge you. I like my steak to still move a little too. A good veterinarian should be able to save my steak. KFC or McDonald's. It's just too lowbrow. Surströming. The real answer. Listen, if there's pulled pork on the menu I'm ordering it. And if you can't handle me at my pulled pork and an IPA you don't deserve me at my middle class fancy rice bowl with extra red cabbage and spicy yogurt and a bellini. Jokes aside, literally eat whatever you want. Dietary compatibility is actually really important. My partner doesn't eat beef and I have B12 deficiency. And sometimes it really sucks dating someone who doesn't eat red meat because I crave it and don't eat it because of him. What's a first date? Gas station sushi. That's never a good choice in any circumstance. Oh god. French onion soup. What a disaster. Thick cheese on the top which you are supposed to get through with a spoon. Long bits of onion which dangle down, make you dribble, burn your chin and rip brown soup onto your nice top. Warning does not lead to a second date. Chicken shawarma. Just reading this gave me food poisoning. Excuse. Me. Yeah. 
I'll be right back. I just have to use the bathroom. Watermelon. I'm curious of the reasoning behind this answer. I should have specified watermelon on the rind. It can be a very messy food, and there is no real way to eat it and look cool. Knife and fork. Class it up a bit. Ah uh, yeah I guess that makes sense. Anything cheap or expensive. If you're too cheap they'll think you're poor. If you spend tons of money they are probably gonna try and milk money out of you. Veal. I feel like that's a no go for me regardless of the setting. Nice to meet you. Bring me the baby to eat. Bananas and a gallon of milk. Ballot for the appetizer. For the main course, sestraming with Ludfusk. For desert is durian which arguably is the most edible thing on the menu. Anything with garlic or onion. And anything that requires me to use my hands. I love me some wings or ribs and all that but I'd rather not do that on the first date. It's like pooping with the door open. You need a certain level of comfort before letting someone see you in that situation. If you're a guy with a mustache don't order blue cheese dressing. My ex ordered it soon after we began dating. On a hot summer night a few hours after dinner he leaned in for the kiss. I was on my first date after a 4 year long relationship. I really liked the guy and we were in that stage of bliss and perfection. Very flirtatious and giddy. He took me to this new Italian restaurant and it was pretty romantic. I ordered pasta and forgot I have ibs that likes to flare up with gluten and dairy. Why that left me? I don't know. I was quickly reminded and my date asked me if I was feeling alright. My face turned pale and I started sweating. I excused myself and nearly ran to the bathroom. I won't share details, but I was gone for a while. My poor date sat alone and the waiter believed I left. When I came out he had paid the bill and was waiting for me. He walked me to his car and kissed my forehead when I apologized. I was so embarrassed and thought he wouldn't want to see me anymore. He reassured me that he would never take me there again, but would love to go somewhere else. So yeah, don't order food you have an intolerance to. Sleeping pills. I always order the roofies with extra roof. This whole question is wrong. What should you order on a first date and see how comfortable you are with each other? Share plate of ribs. Took a date out. Ordered a medium rare ribby. She ordered a Caesar salad. She kind of gave me weird looks. Okay. When she started gagging when I cut into my medium rare steak she informed me she was a vegetarian. Welp. That date was a bust. I wasn't about to waste a $30 steak. Glad we both drove our own cars. It was awkward enough at the other table and that's on her for not mentioning her dieting choices. Not that you shouldn't order an awesome steak on the first date, but maybe discuss the restaurant and diet choices a little closer. This was at a steakhouse she agreed to by the way, so on her for that one. Yeah, I feel like gagging is a little excessive. Like one of those things people do intentionally. None. If you don't appreciate me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Quote inspired by 9,639,243 Tinder profiles. So many people here apparently can't handle eating food without getting the entire dish onto their clothes? It sure seems that way. Maybe that's why so many Reddit avatars are in honesties. And last, but not least, the classic. Drum roll, please. Oh, I don't know. You decide. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. Kitos.